Okay, oil filter change on the T5. Obviously fresh oil, an old container of oil, new filter. I'm gonna use an oil pump to suck the oil out. Um, if I'm not getting much oil out then I'll, I'll jack the car up and undo the sump plug. Um, a little tool which is a 74-76 uh, oil spinner to take the filter off. Ratchet obviously to reach down. It's the oil filter. It's just there. Uh, a bit awkward that way in front of it but obviously it makes a bit of a mess when you take it off. So I've got some oil pads, oil mats to soak up any spillage. So yeah, pretty simple. Let's get on with it. Right, so engines are warmed up, oil's warmed up, made it far easier to do the oil change. Stick out, wipe the oil off, and put somewhere safe. Oil pump suction tube down the dipstick hole. As far as it will go, pretty good. Other end goes in the bottle, the empty bottle. The pump up, positive and negative, and see that will suck it up. Well, that's strange because that's where before. What I normally do is suck the most of it out, then drop the rest out of the sump, but it's not worth it this time. Oh well, old fashioned way, we'll get up on the ramps and we'll take the sump plug out. So, plan B, we're up on the ramps, bit of cardboard on the floor for spillage, got my little uh, tubs, I'll have to get underneath now, and find the sump plug. It's on me, I think. It's a 13mm socket. That one on the side. Slide that out. There's a the sub plug. Lovely. Alright, so we've got our oil um, collector. Just put on a bit of wood so it doesn't go everywhere. It's a 19mm socket. Oh, solid! Move that out the way while I put a bit of pressure on it. There we go. Once it's moved, get that back. Nice. Now, this oil should be quite hot, so it's going to be really careful. In fact, I think I'm going to move the bucket. Just in case there's a bit too much oil for one tray. Get my other one ready. Always prepare. Try not to get everywhere. And here we go, nearly. Uh, oops. That's going now. Woohoo! Managed to keep the sun plug. Just let that drain now, and then we'll go in there, take the oil filter off, that's back up top, back up top lad. 
All right, it's quite hard to see really, isn't it? But I'm just gonna put my oil filter cap on there. I'll put some extra cardboard down on the floor. That cap just goes on onto the filter. I don't know if you can tell that or not. You might be able to see, it's very difficult. And then you just ratchet it off. See, it's moving now. Take that off. Oh, it's very difficult. This is wires in the way, I should really take that wire off first. Oh, there comes the oil. Yeah. Get this mat on to soak it all up. Get off as fast as we can now, I think. Chill on that is. Oh, and there we go. There's the oil filter off. And not a well. Make sure nothing drops in there. Clean the faces up. Nice. We have the new filter, just screw on that. Right, so we have our new filter. Now normally I pre all these, um, but if I do it without some of the syrups are down, it's gonna all fall out. I'll just put a little bit on, just to soak into the filter paper though. Right, so I'll put a bit of oil in. And I've oiled the rubber joint so it spins nicely. Just try and let that soak into the filter paper a bit and then we'll just stick it back on. I won't need the um, tool to do this, it doesn't have to be too tight. Alright again, apologies for the angle but I can't really get a better angle on this. I'm sure you can see. I'm just going to try and get this on now. It's a bit tricky. Threads on that. Nice. And this doesn't have to be too tight. And tight all it needs. We've got a new crush washer on there. And a sump plug. Now, this should be torqued. Righty tight isn't really good enough for the being aluminium. But I think it's 25 newton meters, but I'm just gonna nip it. That's it, doesn't need any more than that. Clean up nicely. All right, back up top, and we'll then um, we'll fill her up. I drained a full 5 litre bottle out, so I'll stick a full 5, bottle, five litre bottle in. Now with a filter, I should have drained a little bit more than 5 out, but the level wasn't particularly high. So I'm quite confident putting a full 5 litre bottle in.
Let's be now. So the cancer, oil oil for change, and for change, my face is clean. It's also the and the fuel injection clean, clean. So I'm expecting this guy to run like it's brand new. So yeah, pouring oil. I've been pouring like that and really it's not the right way. You should pour it like that. But then it spills everywhere. But the air's in the top, it won't gurgle. So really probably the best way is to do it flat. That's probably the best way of doing it. Just not the most comfortable way. If you're doing it like that, the air has to gurgle past all the oil. So I don't want to do it that way. Spot on but you make a mess. I'll make them in the middle and go horizontal. Five liters. Okay. Right, cap back on. Stick down. Oh, well, we're back underneath. There's no leaks. Um, so I'll put the under tray back on. Right, so that's clipped on the front. Or resting on the front, I should say. And these little babies up. Boys, on that, do the hand tight first. Make sure you get cross thread in it. That in. Over to the other side. Yeah, hand tight, do not cross thread. It's not close. Six bolts, 13 mil head, and the tray back on. Alright, we're back on level ground. I'm just going to let that oil settle for a little bit. Um, I'm just wondering, does everybody's workshop carry it like mine? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, it's probably worth it, you know, because at the moment I'm restoring it all on Bretta. Uh, I've got a Triumph Tiger at the back that I'm doing some touring on. You can just see the Little sports car on the ramp there, which is going to get an oil change next week. Uh, but yeah, I've just, just done a bit of spraying. Right, let's go the So that's probably about half a litre. Let that drain down at the bottom. We'll have another look. quite thin the oil and the engine's warm so it should go down quite quick. Hmm, very worrying. Oil. Ah, there we go, starting to register. Yeah. A little bit more will be there. It's just as important not to overfill the car with oil than to underfill. If you overfill it, you get what's called uh, oil hammer. 
but the engine's trying so hard and it's just turning against a pool of oil. Oh, look halfway now. By the time that settles, I think we'll be there. Right, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bit of a mess on, wasn't it? But we got there in the end. Uh, if there's any good for you, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to just keep in touch with this project and the other projects in China's garage. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.